seven Western governors, including Idaho's own Butch Otter, have agreed to make it easier for electric car drivers to travel across the West. They've signed an agreement promising to build a network of charging stations, but not everyone appreciates the effort, with one conservative outlet even going so far as to call the agreement dumb. Six on your side's Michael Severn reports. Getting from point A to point B for electric car drivers can be tough if you don't know where you'll be able to charge up next. That's why seven Western governors have signed the Memorandum of Understanding to create a regional electric vehicle plan. State leaders will coordinate charging station locations and create voluntary minimum standards for station operations and management. But not everyone is impressed. The president of the Idaho Freedom Foundation calling it dumb in an article written on their website, saying the car companies should get the job done themselves. You're going to have the industry slowing down its, in its development of charging stations like this. They're going to be second guessing whether they should be in doing the investing themselves or whether the government should be doing it for them. In response to the criticism, a statement from Governor Otter's office reads, ignoring the advance of technology is never wise. That's why leaders of seven western states, including Idaho, are proactively addressing what undoubtedly will be an increasing number of our citizens demanding these kinds of services. As our neighboring states are developing charging infrastructure, it is only prudent for Idaho to be part of that coordination and discussion. The Idaho Freedom Foundation maintains the development of the technology is happening fine without the government and they should stay out of the marketplace. This will happen on its own and it will happen faster and more efficiently than if government gets involved. Michael Severin, six on your side. As of right now, there is just an agreement with the governors and no action has been taken. Currently, more than 20,000 electric vehicles and plug-in hybrids are used on roads in western states.